Now, the shower is pretty interesting. I've never encountered one of these showers before. This is my first experience with it. So what you do is, so that's off right now. You turn this down, you hold it, you crank the knob, you look and see if the pilot's lit. Oh, the pilot's lit. You hold it down for 10 seconds. Then you turn it over here. Then you turn the water on like that. This is your temperature gauge and it's all done. When you're finished, you just turn off the temperature like that, it's done. What's this, Brian? As you can see, this is a covered area here. If you lift this cover off, it's the bathtub. Nobody takes a bath because nobody really wants to take a bath because it's too small. All Japanese baths, you gotta kind of crouch like that in the bath. So uh, that's pretty much the shower bathroom area. Now Paul just hit his head on the ceiling yet again. I'm gonna wander into my room here. Now uh, this is my room, six full tatami mats. These are the tatami mats on the ground. They keep you cool in the summer. They keep you warm in the winter. And uh, as you can see, I have a very big uh, bed, which is three layers on the floor. Very comfortable. It takes a while getting used to sleeping on the floor, but I kind of like it. I kind of dig it. And uh, we got books, we got music, we got a very large closet here with swinging doors. These are my uh, these are my rocks from our climb of Mount Fuji, Paul, which I am uh, keeping with all nostalgia. Yeah, and then uh, as we wander over here, just move aside my little bamboo, my little bamboo thing here. Open the screen door. Got some laundry hanging, and this is the view from my window. Now this is uh, remarkably suburban, so close to Tokyo. We're about uh, we're about 20, 25 minutes, maybe less, away from downtown Tokyo, and. Uh, it doesn't look too crowded or too busy right now, which is which is pretty remarkable. So I kind of like this place. It's uh, it's close to Tokyo, but it's not too far away. So uh, very very convenient for the city dweller. And we got one more room to show you over here. Oh, now, now my roommate Quinn. Uh, he just got home from work. I'm gonna slide open. Hello! This slide is open. This is my roommate Quinn. What's up? He's a fellow guitar player. We jam very frequently, late at night. The uh, the reason why we got those letters up there. It was awesome though. If we take a look into Quinn's room, he's got the speakers. I would say Quinn is the most uh, generous of our mates in the flat. Uh, he lets us use a, use his computer. The computer. He, uh, he bought uh, the GameCube, which we all partake in from time to time. And uh, not only does he have a computer, but uh, this location, we have free access to internet through wireless internet. So uh, we're stealing from one of the neighbors. I believe it's the neighbor Japan across the way. Japan is a very trusting country. They don't put passwords on things. Yeah. It's fantastic. Oh, Wicked. Very fantastic. I have definitely appreciated the use of the computer over the time that I've been here. So. Yeah, so before we were actually going to the internet cafe breakers and we would spend like $5 for every hour. Now we're not spending anything, so uh, it's pretty sweet. In a word, fantastic. In a, in a word, fantastic. So, uh, unfortunately, that brings us to the closing of our tour because that's it. It's a pretty small place. So, I uh, wish I could show you more, but uh, I'm doing well. It's good to see you, and uh, thank you again for the video. It, it was great to see all you guys. It's one thing to talk to you over uh, email, messenger, but it's another thing to actually see your faces, see your lives, see what you guys have been up to, and um, Adam, I'll have your mom back in a couple weeks. Alright, she's just on temporary vacation right now.